Number 61. From the molar heats of formation in Appendix G, determine how much heat is required to evaporate one mole of water, and then they give us the formula that we need to use. Okie dokie. So in this case, I'm just going to rewrite this. They want us to find the, the molar, the heat of formation, basically, by turning liquid water into steam, which is H2O gas. Now, I already went to Appendix G, and I wrote down the delta H values that we're going to be using here. Now, you might see that there's going to be three different columns, one for a delta H, one for a delta G, and then one for an S value. Remember, the heats always are the H's, okay? So heat is delta H, a.k.a. enthalpy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down um, who's who here, right? So I have negative 285.83 kilojoules per heat for the water. And then for the steam, I have negative 241.82. And now I just want to find out the delta H for the overall reaction. Well, it's a pretty easy formula. It's this one. Whenever you want to find a delta H for a a whole reaction, all you have to do is just take the sum, which is this funky little symbol here. So take the sum of the products and minus the sum of the reactants. So it's always products minus reactants. Now in this case, I don't really have to do much because there's only one reactant and one product, right? So technically, you would take these values and multiply by how many you have in your balanced equation. But here, since there's no number, and in here there's no number, it's just one and one. So you would multiply each one by one, but that's the same number, right? Now, we're ready to just get the delta H. Now, if you wanna say F for formation, it doesn't matter. The number is all that really matters here. So I'm just gonna say for the reaction. The products, which is this one, so it's negative 241.82 minus the reactants, which was a negative, so maybe I'll just put this as minus, right? And then a negative 285.83. You could do the keep change change, right? Minusing by a negative is just adding. And then we are ready to go. So negative 241.82, whoop, negative 241.82 minus a negative 285.83. Hold on, wait a minute, 240, did I, oh, my bad, 241.82, 285.83. Sometimes the calc key gets me. Okay, there we go. Now I have 44.01, and that's kilojoules per mole, because your delta H values standard are always going to be in kilojoules per mole. And that's it, guys. So easy formula. It's just the sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants. I just like to say products minus reactants. And then there you go. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep up the awesome work. Let's keep studying hard and good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your classmates. Maybe we can help them out too. All right. See you later lessons. Bye-bye.